Uh, let me start by sort of talking about entrepreneurs and understanding that you know it helps to be uh, you know it helps to not understand just how hard this path is. Uh, in fact, it's even crazier if you don't know how hard it is, and also you don't know the way that the game is traditionally played, it turns out that ignorance is a competitive advantage and that you have a chance to change things, whether it's in just about any industry. And, and so that's what's really exciting. Every single day, we have people who don't know any better coming to us and saying there are better ways and different ways to do these things. And, and that's something that is just a, a constant source of, of excitement uh, for all of us. Uh, so entrepreneurs are sort of peculiar. They see what everybody else has seen. They see the way that business as usual conducts itself. They see the way things have always been done. But they think about it differently. They come up with different solutions. And so uh, one of my favorite entrepreneurs, and I love her pearls, by the way, uh, is this woman. And you know, she, was, uh, uh, she went into a bank in New York uh, and said she was leaving on a cruise for a week. And uh, could she borrow $10,000? And, uh, and the bank said, we don't know you from Adam. I mean, they said it politely, because she was a very distinguished lady. Uh, we don't know you, and we ordinarily don't make it a habit to lend money to people that we don't know. And she said, well, I understand that, but I'm leaving, and I, you know, I would be really super if you could lend me $10,000. I do happen to have some collateral outside. I haven't had my rules, and uh, I could leave it with you. And, and they said, well, let me go check with my manager. This is a couple hundred thousand dollar vehicle. Uh, came back and said, all right, we'll do that. And here's the $10,000. We wish you a good trip. And off she went. And uh, she left the keys, of course. She came back in a week, and they said, welcome back. Uh, you know, your loan is $10,000 and $6.10 in interest. And she promptly paid them, and she was about to leave. And they said, could we just ask you one question? And the question was, basically, uh, we've talked to your bank in Connecticut. They think you're you know, a very substantial person. They would have lent you this money in a flash. They would have lent you 10 times this amount of money. So uh, tell me, why did you come here and borrow this from us? And she said, well, where can you park a car in New York for $6? <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, um, basically it was a, sort of the same old story, but it's a little different. That's, that's what we try to do. The other thing that's really important is that you know people are always full of reasons why you can't do something, or it's hard, or it's difficult, or it's challenging. And here's what we say: we we have a very simple answer for that. We say. Even if it's a no, it's only a no for now. And, and that keeps you in the game, and that keeps you thinking about how this process works. And this process works very simply. It works because you keep getting better, and it's really essential. And so when you look at a problem or you look at a situation, if you look at it with the perspective that even obstacles, those sort of nasty little things that get in your way, can be overcome if you keep an eye on the main prize, which is to keep moving forward and doing uh, things better. And no area is more significant uh, than healthcare in terms of uh, having that kind of an attitude. So we don't sell our dreams short. You know, our view is really simple. Um, we always say, look, there is a best seat, there is a best opportunity, there's a best thing to do, and shame on us if we don't ask for it. Shame on us. And so as Michael Jordan used to say, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And so we start high, we aim high. If you aim for the stars, you may not always make it, but if you don't aim for the stars, you know that uh, you'll end up with considerably less. So uh, we have that bias, and we think that that's not entitlement particularly. Uh, we think of it as just the way that you do this if you want to make things better. So um, the second thing is that we take a lot of responsibility. You know, we're entering a, a world because of the information explosions where the two things that are going to define all of our lives as business people and especially as caregivers are two words, transparency and efficacy. People will know everything. People don't understand quite how much information is out there. Doctors in particular don't understand that patients have sites like patients like me today and there are discussions going on about the quality of care, the cost of care, who the doctors are, all of these kinds of things. So it's all going to be out there. 
And the measurement is going to be how well you do whatever it is that you do. So transparency and efficacy are the things that are going forward.